the prophet Hosea spoke these words. My people are destroyed for the lack of the knowledge of God. And still today, these words ring true. Introducing W.C. Hunt, pastor of the World Church of the Living God in Chattanooga, Tennessee. For the next half hour, we invite you to experience the Word of Knowledge broadcast. His body belonged to God. And two scriptures I want to read, what God will do for those who defile his body. And I want you to listen. <clears throat> Listen like you never listened before. It's very important to you and your life. Your life. Your living. Read, brother. This is in the book of 1 Corinthians 3, 16. And you talk about grace all you want to. Yeah, we're saved by grace. But grace teaches something. Teaches how to Deny ungodliness is supposed to teach you a lesson. Read. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. You can't be playing around with the Spirit of God. You can't play around with God's Spirit. Either you say, I don't want God in me, I don't want the Spirit of God bothering me, or not. And if you do, he's going to take full possession. If you do. If you don't, he ain't going to force himself. Choice. He ain't going to force himself on you. Yeah. And all he has you to do is to obey him. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. God saved you for himself. Now, either you are or not. This not is not a church member thing. This is not just a going to church. This is a kingdom operated by a kingdom's king. You sure? And he said it in his word. I didn't write this. But I am proclaiming this to preach it and teach it to whomever it may be or whoever talking to. And I have no respect to person. Period. God said something in his word. And this is the only thing you've got to go by. You better go by this instead of everything else the world talks. Go ahead. If any man defile the temple. No, some excuses. No, sir. Any man that had proclaimed Jesus, that he's saved, that he's a child of God. Either you are a child of God, redeemed by the blood of Jesus, or you're not and as straight as it can be, if you're not, you're going to hell. Don't have to believe in hell if you want to. I'm going to take you but one minute to get there. And you'll swear to the world, it's, it is a hell. God wants you to live peaceful. He wants you to have a happy life. Here's what he wants. And to have a prosperous life. A together life, a family life with unity, a church life with love, simply a place of refuge. Read it. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Now, I did it say, Pastor W.C. Hunter, Bishop W.C. Hunter, destroy him? Did he say, did he say the devil will? What did he say? I don't know why people think God ain't going to do nothing. I don't know why. This is a society and a generation that, that changed the laws of God and everything. They have, 
everything God ever said. Go ahead. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple ye are? That's hard to figure. It. That's hard to figure. To value your body so preserved for God. Preserved for God. Set aside for God's use. Because he paid the price for you. Just simple to live right. Preserve yourself for who it belonged to. To who it belonged to. And who did it say? Read it. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? <laughs> Wonder why that's so hard to understand, and to bring and to bring fear when you say, "I ain't going, man. I'm not. I'm, doing, I'm not. Uh, uh. Wow. Well, you ain't supposed to be scared of God." You're a lie, and the truth ain't never been in you. All through this book, it says, fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and God, fear is the beginning of all good things, to fear God. That's the problem today. They have no fear of God before them. People don't have fear of God. No. Is that in the book? Stop for a minute and read it then. You hold it just a minute. Read it. Book of Proverbs. See, I'm my line. Book of Proverbs 9, so I'm at the 10th verse. Not only wisdom, but it just tell you all about fear. Yes, sir. So the Proverbs 9, so I'm at the 10th verse. The fear of the Lord. No, you ain't supposed to fear. Yes, sir. Some smart Alex. That's what done happened to this generation. This whole generation. And they tell you they have no fear. They tell you all about it. They have yes, no sir. fear of God before them and disrespect to the parents. And all. Read, get it. Go ahead. Finish reading. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of it's wisdom. the beginning. You ain't going to get no wisdom unless there's fear of God. And that simply means fear to do his, to, to, to break his law, to, 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 Trample over what he set down to be. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. No fear. But the fear one, the one that's fear for of God is the beginning of a smart, intelligent person. Yes, sir. It ain't scared of God just lighting and stuff. It's talking about fear to do evil. Yes, God said, don't do this. It's an abomination. This is so and so. And I mean, man, I ain't gonna. Tsh. I don't want nobody bringing this to me. I don't even know nobody even saying this to me. Yeah. Why? Because you fear God. Yes, sir. Yeah. Go ahead. And knowledge of the holy is understanding. And you have the knowledge of the Holy One, God. But a good understanding. People try to understand God, try to know God. They ain't going to know God. God stay hidden from them. From the wise, the so-called worldly wise. He, he stay hid. They'll never discover him. They'll never find him out. They'll never know him as a personal friend, a personal father. Never. They might talk about yeah, God, my father. But, huh, is he? Is he? Oh, go ahead. For by me thy days shall be multiplied. Now, wait a minute. It's either one way or another. Multiplication or what? Subtraction. Subtraction. Yeah. 
right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You decide. I want to have a long, prosperous life and live the fullness of self. But it's going to be by something, <coughs> by the fear of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And to get to know him as a person of very interest. Yes, sir. Person of interest. Uh-huh. Some people, don't mean, he don't mean nothing. Just the word God. More than you think. Yes, sir. More than you have an idea. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this ain't no kind of religion. I'm not teaching you no religion. I'm teaching a savior and a kingdom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And a kingdom. It ain't got nothing to do with religion. I ain't talking about no religion. I'm talking about a kingdom. Where a king rules. Yes, sir. Not a denomination, a kingdom where a king rules. Rule. And if that king is not your king, you know who he is? You know that? Don't mention his name either. You know who he is? The devil. He's your king. He has mastery over you. So there's got to be one of them. Gotta, got to be one of them. Can't be both of them. Go ahead. And the years of thy life shall be increased. Oh, brother, all this good stuff. Yes, sir. And people rather have their life shortened. How you respond to God's word and how obedient. Oh, yes, sir. How obedience. Determines. Go ahead, read. This is in the book of First Corinthians six fifteen. Make sure you get the scriptures while you know you're coming from the book. First Corinthians six chapter fifteenth verse. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ? And make them members of an harlot? A whore? God forbid. Amen. God forbid it. Yes, sir. Yes. No matter what you think, this is my body. Go ahead, go ahead. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two saith he shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. <laughs> Flee fornication. Flee it. Yes. Yes. Run from it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Every sin that a man doeth is without you, you the body. Be, you better listen to this. Yes, sir. Because many of you probably didn't know this. You better listen to this. Yes, sir. Every sin. Go ahead. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committeth fornication sinneth, sinneth against his own body. Yes, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God. Now, uh, and make sure you take the word slowly. Yes, sir. In of God. Make sure you read it and say, this is not something Pastor Son is making up. Know that God means what he say. And he will follow her up. God give people chances, chances. Come through the word here. I be knowing what God is doing. And maybe you don't have to, to, to understand and pick up on it. Oh, if I only would have known that, I would have known what are you talking about. Read that again. What? Know ye not that your body is... Body. Yes, sir. 
is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Well, I don't want the Holy Ghost. I don't want the body to be the temple because I want this body to do what it want to do and don't get punished, don't get nothing to happen to it. It don't, it don't work like that. God's not going to repent of what he's done. Amen. The calling of God is without repentance. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Not what? Is. Which is in you. Where is it at? In me. Which ye have of God. Oh, where did you get it from? And ye are not your own. Well, who do you belong to? God. It's plain. How can anybody, even a child, a little bit, any, even anybody can, can, can understand the little, little words? Who, when, how much, who belong to what? There's no mistake in that. So, to go against it would only be what? Rebellion. That's a sin of witchcraft. Go ahead. For ye are bought with a price. Who, 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 who bought you? Who paid for you? What it cost you? What's more precious than anything? Blood. What's, what's the law of blood? Some must die that some may live. That's the law. So this blood is precious. Just like precious gold, silver, no. Blood is more precious than life is in the blood. Somebody gets shot the first thing, how much blood they have? Life is in the blood. And Jesus hung on Calvary and bled to death. And you're just gonna, gonna ignore it, you're just gonna ignore it, you're just gonna have no conscience about it. This is my body, I do what I want to. This is my money. This is my this and that. And God done told you he bought with a price. The thing of the day is, beloved, it's not what you've done, but this is time of repentance. It's a real call of God going through the land, call of repentance. Go ahead. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. I have no question of that. I am one to believe that. And the only way some people are going to believe to wake up in hell. He said, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. If you had to do it in hell. On your knees in the fire that never squinch, never go out. Burning night and day, day and night, hour and hours, minute, minute without stopping. This is real. And you don't want to experience it just to try and see if it's real or not. Take what God say. He said. Wonder what who is going in. I see it like Jesus did. He that got an ear, let him hear. Everybody don't have ears. They got ears, but not the spiritual ears.
Go ahead, bro. Read. This is in the book of Proverbs, the 30th chapter. The 30th chapter, starting with the 11th verse. Proverbs. How many believe the Bible? How many believe God would do what they say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Read. Yes, sir. There is a generation that curses their father and does not bless their mother. That's true. This is it. This is it. Go ahead. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes. This is it. What they say is right. What they say is all right. No matter what God say. Go ahead. And yet is not washed from their filthiness. Washed from their filthiness. Filthy minded. Filthy thoughts. Filthy attitude. Look filthy, smell filthy, and ears. They don't care how much paint, powder, and rouge you put on the outside. That means nothing. Go ahead. There is a generation. Oh, how lofty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. <laughs> Pride. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pride. Yes, sir. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords and their jaw teeth as knives. They tell you, chew you in pieces. Yes, to Try. devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men. Okay. This is the book of St. Matthew, the 10th chapter. Starting with the 28th verse. Bishop, this is when you spoke about fear, the fear of God. Yeah. St. Matthew 10, 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Who is that? Ah. See, I don't care what people say. They judgment, I don't care, don't bother me at all. I don't feel them, don't worry about it. But God whom I fear. Yes, sir. And that fear to do evil. Fear to rebel against his word. You say you ain't never been. Yes, I have. But I told you that this is a time of a call. Yes, sir. Call of what? Repentance. Yes, sir. Very plead, pleading call. God's reaching out. So that proves to me time is not long. Yes, sir. Get scripture. He preached preach the word. That's, that's what I want. Second Timothy four. Read it. Now let's go to third chapter. Read it. This know also that in the last days perilous now, times. This shall is come. the main thing that I want to talk about. These are the last days. Perilous times to come. They're here. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Let's just notice something. Let's see do this come out the way we see it. Covetous. Co covetous. Boasters. Proud. Blasphemers. Disobedient to parents. Unthankful, unholy, <laughs> without natural affection, 
They, they don't have affection for dog, do Go ahead. Truce breakers. <laughs> Truce, False. Treaty breakers. They, yes, sir. Can't, ain't going to keep the word for nothing. Yes, sir. Yeah. False accusers. Liars. Liars. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Incontinent. Mm -hmm. Fierce. Despises of those that are good. And despise those that are good. Yes, Don't tell me no good people. Despises those that are good. Yes, Go ahead. Traitors. <laughs> yeah. Heady. You can't trust nobody. Traitors. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Heady. High minded. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of lovers God. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Yes, sir. What kind of world is this? Having a form of godliness. Having a form. Shaped up, new suit, whatever. <laughs> but denying the power thereof. But deny the power that God can keep you. From such, turn away. He said you turn away from that. You get away from that lifestyle. In the fourth, the phony. fourth chapter. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Charge, you mean I command you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who shall judge the quick and the dead mm -hmm. at his appearing mm -hmm. and his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Preach the word. That's what I'm going to do. Too. Be instant. In season, out of season. That's what it be. Instant. Well, you got a time, y'all, to preach the word. Oh, I, I want to talk to you about something. I don't want to talk to you about nothing else. Not right now. Let me talk to you about Jesus. Talk to you about the power that can change you. Yes, sir. And I know it can change you. Go ahead. Reprove. Mm -hmm. Rebuke. Uh, yes, sir. Exhort, yes, sir, with all long suffering and now, I will have to suffer for it. Yes, for the time will come when they will not endure. They sound. will not do what? Endure. What do endure mean? That means to, to live it out, to, to go ahead in spite of all the challenges, to do what is told. No, they're not willing to suffer. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. <laughs> Go ahead. And they shall turn away their ears. They shall turn away their ears. From the truth. And shall be turned in, unto faith. And they'll be turned into what? Unto yeah. faith. Keep in mind what I say. You want to do it right. You don't want no crooked phony stuff in your life. That's just simple as that. Simple. No ifs and ends about it. Period. No excuses. Period. You have it.